Okay, Tyra. Um, six months ago, or seven months ago, you opened yes. the gym. Okay, How that is, going? that, they're going fantastic. Yeah? Yes. Um, this is a great area to be in. Mm -hmm. And as most of y'all know, Texas athletes are super amazing. And I do think that Frisco is kind of known for having superior athletes. We have kids, however, that drive from um, Oklahoma. We have kids that drive from Van Alstine, Sherman area. Wow. So we do have kids that travel over an hour to get to our gym. Um, I, I have coached the past, well, long time, 25 years, and so some of our athletes, as we open this gym, will drive the distance to come out with our coaches, which I'm very excited about. Um, so, now you have quite a, now yes. you said you had quite a few of your athletes here that still that stick around and coach, and, and actually not even want to stick around and coach, but are currently competing for you and coach at the same time. That is correct. We run our regular staff program. A lot of the staff that I have, I have coached some since the age of three, four, and five years old, and now they're in their mid-twenties. I've had some that have coached with me for six, seven years. We do not rotate among our staff members. We're a very close-knit group, and I take a lot of pride in the fact that our staff members will stay with us long-term, um, as well as our athletes. So we start our, our athletes into a junior staffing program, and they have to earn their way into to that program well one is they're required to be 14 years of age um, but we also require them to stick to certain standards within the gym they have to be a respectful athlete of ours they have to follow the rules in the gym they um, need to show up to practice on time and practice where they they have to set the standard of what's expected in the gym mm -hmm. and then from there we do let them start training to learn how to coach because a lot of the kids look up to us mm -hmm. with their role models and they want to grow up. I've had them go on their at school and they were supposed to speak of what they wanted to grow up to be and they borrowed my coaching clothes <laughs> <laughs> and, and different coaches up here so that they could say, I'm going to go up, grow up to be a cheer coach. <laughs> now, um, I hope most of them dream bigger, <laughs> but maybe want to keep this as something that they do on the side. Right. I have several staff members that work real jobs and then zip up the toll road, cut off here in Frisco, and can coach for multiple hours every night. Gotcha. They don't need it as far as financially. They need it because they need it in their life. Right. And cool. I do love that. They do truly love the kids, and that's a very important part of my staff that if they do not just have a passion for the sport, they need to have a passion for teaching kids and want to make an influence in their lives. And so our junior staff, we kind of grow them up through the gym, and then they end up coaching for me right. in the future. That's great. So, it looks yeah. like you got a great staff. I mean, you got tons of help out there with this one team. Now, um, uh, give me a little background on yourself. I mean, as far as how did you get started in this whole crazy cheer industry? He said it's been, it's been a little while, he said. And yes. I just from the age of five, my mom started coaching at a gym. She then opened her own gym, and I grew up in the gym. At that time... So you're a gym rat. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I never left. So I was a competitive gymnast for a long time. Competitive cheer did not exist. The first all-star team I ever saw, I was a senior in high school, and I saw them at camp and didn't understand why there were younger kids there. Um, and then... As I grew, um, at 16 years old, I started coaching gymnastics team. By the age of 23 was when All Star Cheer, I started hearing more and more about it. So I looked to start that program in our gym in McKinney. So for 15 years, I ran a program in McKinney of All Star Cheerleaders. And between that time, I was married. I had a child, who my child now is in the cheer program. She's been here just like me, from three weeks old. Never left the gym. Another gym rat. Yes, that's right. We tend to breed those. <laughs> um, but I do um, want with her and with the other kids them to grow up to love this sport. And so we do not, um, you know, as far as my style of coaching and the coach's style of coaching up here, fun has to be incorporated in practice. There are serious times and then not serious times. So I've been doing the competitive cheerleading for a long time. Um, however, it was within a gymnastics facility and it was a little stagnant on growth. Um, I decided last August that I was going to look to start my own gym and was very fortunate to meet people um, that wanted to get involved in this with me. And so there are two families that own the gym. 
we love each other. Our children love each other and our staff loves each other. So it is the perfect environment in my eyes. Anything I could have ever dreamed of, that's what happened. Um, and so since that point, we've been able to double our program and I feel like that will continue. Um, and so our competitive cheerleaders, now we are over 90 and we wow. started with not near that many <laughs> that started. And, however, I didn't go to school yeah. to be a coach. I couldn't leave the gym. Wow. I went to SMU, Cox School of Business for years for accounting. Wow. And couldn't leave the gym. Wow. I don't regret it. That's right. However, I will encourage my child to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically living the dream right now. That's right. That's, That's right. It keeps me young. That's right. And That's great. So, and I'm pushing not young anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, thanks a lot for your time. That was awesome. Yes, thank you. I appreciate. You. I appreciate you coming out today so much. No, no um, our kids, anytime we can get cameras rolling on them, <laughs> they love it. Um, our staff loves it, and we appreciate you and Chris and Good. Rebel. They're amazing. Number one uh -oh. uniform <laughs> company. <laughs> There's my plug. plug. The uniforms right there. <laughs> we love our uniforms. We think we're a whole new image for our gym, uh -oh. and um, we feel like we went top notch all the way. Very proud of our program, our coaches, everything that's involved within it. Awesome. So, we'll have to keep yes. the cameras rolling. Get this couple of these kids on video. Okay. Thank you.